What's up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone MTG, and today I have a booster box of Masters 25, the totally beloved Masters 25 that everyone really likes and has just perfect reprints, nothing wrong here. Um, obviously I'm being a little bit sarcastic there, but I'm still pretty happy to open this box up. I got this actually on sale on eBay, I got 20% off, I got it for like 130 bucks. If you can get it for that cheap, it uh, might not be worth it. If you're paying like 180 bucks, uh, I don't know. Um, I also recently bought a box of Iconic Masters, just a little little side, and uh, it was actually a fucking sick box. It had like a foil Ancestral Visions and uh, a Mana Drain and a bunch of other like pretty pretty good stuff. So I think you know this as the Iconic Masters two um, it may have some merit and may not. We will see what we get. Um, hopefully it will be as good as the last Iconic Masters box I opened. Um, I have a little slit ready here. So without further ado, let's crack into this motherfucker. As most of you know, the packaging on this is weird. It has like this fucking triangle thing going on that is honestly just like a waste of space and a waste of resources. But, uh, you know, in any case, let's try to make this look at least a little bit official. And you can hardly see it, but here I have it. Maybe we'll get a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I wouldn't, you know, a foil Azusa would be pretty sweet too. Um, Liliana, give us luck and let's see what we get. I'm just gonna lay out the sweet pulls across here. And then, and maybe anything else. I'm also hoping for some uh, good foil commons, so let's let's get on with it. Jesus, these fucking packs open like tissue paper. You know, I've been opening a lot of like other other card games, specifically Force Will on. Um, well, you're probably watching this on Red Zone Rogue, but I also have a Red Zone MTG channel, and you know we're gonna blast through some of these. Anyway, the the fucking packaging just feels like garbage on here. They're like tissue paper. It's a cool card. I like Twisted Abomination. Good old Jackal Pup at Common. Got Sift. Primal Clay used to be a fucking rare. We have a Heavy Ballista. Uh, Corona's Zealot. Merfolk Looter. And then our first rare is Grenzo, Dungeon Warden from Conspiracy. Um, I think Grenzo's not, not too shabadoo. We have a Foil Crows and Tusker. It's actually not a bad card either. Uh, and then we have Kobold's Occur Keep and Token. Uh, yeah, it's a good, like, cube card. Yeah, I like it. So I do have some sleeves standing by in case we get something sick. There are some pretty cool uh, reprints here. Not as good as they could have been, of course. And I also fucking love the, like, the watermarks. I was gonna call them water stains, because they're not water stains, they're watermarks. Um, and some of the card selection could have been a little bit better. I mean, Pacifism is a good one. Berksian Ghoul, Ghost Ship from uh, The Dark. I love this art on Disenchant. This was actually the full art um, art that was used in like one of the player rewards. We have these Baloth Null Humble Defector. Source of player shares. Fucking classic with the watermark. Makes it look pretty cool. And then we have. This is a start to a good box. We have uh, Armageddon. I'm being sarcastic because this is like a two or three dollar mythic. I do love the art. Um, it's a cool art and I love the little M symbol, but money wise, monetarily wise, this is not a good pull. Then we have a foil Chandra's Outrage and an Elf Warrior. And I'm just gonna. This mythic is gonna go with the uh, generic pile because it's not super spicy. I actually really like this card. Unearth is a it's a pretty sweet one. Horley Outburst. I guess Horley Outburst is good for Popper or something. I don't know. I don't play Popper. Got Cloud Shift, Erg Raiders. Horseshoe Crab is a sweet card that I used to play with back in the day, back in like middle school, I suppose. Was when I was the, of the age when the saga came out. You used to put Hermetic Study on this. It was sweet. It was a Hermetic Study, and um, there was another one. Whenever you dealt damage to a player, you have to you got to bounce one of their dudes, and so we would just like machine gun them, horse, horseshoe crab, and bounce other guys. It's like Hermetic Study and something is sleepless. I don't remember. Borrowing hundred thousand arrows. Bean Hunter on common. We have the Lore Skull, Quattle, Quattle, Ash Barons. Actually, not a bad pull. Um, yeah, worth a buck or two. And then we have, oh nice, our second mythic, Vendillion Click. Okay, so, fuck Armageddon. I mean, it's a cool card, but fuck it, not worth very much. Vendillion Click, good pull. I'm happy to have this Vendillion Click, and I like it with the, with the, with the Martyr Mark. Then we have a Foil Dauntless Cathar. Dauntless Cathar, I can speak, we have this wolf, this armored up wolf. Pretty good. All right, so it really feels like we're blowing our mythic load pretty quickly. Um, I got my fingers crossed for a uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Actually, 
You know, I know it's worth less, but I kind of want an Imperial Recruiter instead. Because I already own a couple Jaces. I have a Foil Jace and, like, a regular Jace from World Wake. And, uh, just, uh, Imperial Recruiter would be nice to have in my collection. We have a Curiosity. We have a Stang, which is awesome. Although, I do like the Old Art on Stang. This Bearded Bro is pretty cool, but Old Art Stang is sweet. We have a, uh, Psy of the Shinobi. And then we have... What the fuck? What's up with these Mythics, man? We got three Mythics so close to each other. Master of the Wild Hunt. It's an okay mythic. Um, it's not worth a ton of money, but it is one that I don't have, so I'm happy about that. We have an assembly worker. We might have just hit all of our mythics already. I'm gonna put it here because it's worth a couple bucks, but uh, it's super weird. Like, just this is all front-loaded with mythics. You know, I remember watching the Modern Masters 2015, like a box opening of it, and this dude was pulling just mythics hand over fist. I don't think we're going to be getting that, because we already got a Grenzo. But, uh, you know, I can have hope. I can have hope this is like a, a 3 Jace the Mind Sculptor box or something. We have uh, Valor in Akros, Twisted Image, Shadow Mage Infiltrator, now down to Uncommon. Poor guy, I remember when this one was a couple bucks. We have a Laquatus' Champion. This is from... I played with both of these around the same time period, honestly. It's a rare. Not a, not a very good one. It's cool, though. It was really good when it first came out. And we have a, ooh, a foil myriad landscape. Fuck all this other stuff. This is a sweet card. This was a, a originally in the commander set, so a foil version is actually pretty cool. And it's a good looking foil. I'm gonna put it here, even though it's probably not worth too much, but yeah. Also, you know, got the skeleton token, looks pretty badass. So if those are the only three mythics I get, I'm not too disappointed. Getting Armageddon sucks, but at least it's not, at least it's not the fucking tree. I'll play with Armageddon, even though I already have a, a couple versions of it. But the tree, I'm not going to be playing with that at all. We have Disfigure. We have, uh, what is this? Exclude. The good old Pyroclasm with the Ice Age stamp. Ordeal of Heliod. And a Vindicate. I like Vindicate. I have a shitload of Vindicates already, but uh, it's a good card. We have a Foil Sift and a Spirit Token. Um, yeah, I'll put Vindicate here, I guess. You know, I paid about five bucks per pack, so if I can at least break even on that, I probably won't. I'd be, I'd be happy. Also, I should note, I haven't had any Dark Rituals or Counter Spells yet, which are some of the cards that I'm very much looking forward to getting. Um, once again, I already own copies of the, you know, original Counter Spells. I have an unlimited Counter Spell. Blue Elemental Blast, Blightning, Iron Shaman, Downship from Rare, and we have a Rest in Peace. That's actually a pretty good pull. We have a Foil Diabolic Edict, which could be worth something. And then a Elf Warrior. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is worth anything, but it's pretty cool. Got Act of Treason. Poor Savannah Lions downship to Common. Used to be a rare. It was a Alpha Beta Unlimited one. Accumulated Knowledge. I think it's kind of a cool card. Uh, Griffin Protector, Nettle Sentinel. Actually a pretty good card. Uh, this Bat. This oh, nice. First Counter Spell. Congregate. We have a... Uh, what is her? Jalira Master Polymorphist. This is one of the cards, I believe, that was in M15 that was made by someone else. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe like an outside, uh... Oh, I kind of skipped a... This was uncommon. I didn't realize Congregate was uncommon. It was common in Saga. So we got a Biden of Thassa as the rare. It's an okay one. Supernatural Stamina and an insect, insect token. I can speak. So in terms of foils, I would like a foil counterspell for Dark, for dark Ritual. And a foil uh, brainstorm. Yep. Also, I think uh, lightning bolts in this set. Foil lightning bolt will be pretty good too. I'm just gonna drop it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pick it up. Assembly worker. Simeon spirit guide is uncommon. We have curse catcher. Another good uncommon. Murder crows. Not as good. These two good. Not as good. And then we have a brown stout arm. Not a very good rare. Ooh. Foil dusk zealot. Zealot. You know. I didn't actually pull one of these from Ixalan, or Rivals of Ixalan, and I do have a Vampire deck where I run this like a, a Edgar Markov EDH deck. So this is actually a pretty pretty good pull for me. I will actually sleeve this up. You know, in all honesty, the best thing you could do with these cards is to just fucking draft them. Either do pack words or just draft them with friends, because, by the way, Cultivate, absolutely fantastic EDH staple. Um, but yeah, uh, this set was clearly designed with drafting in mind. And there's not, it's not a Modern Masters one. I mean, I think everyone knows that. Core Firewalker, really good tech against red. We have a Freed from the Real, which is also a kind of a cool little combo-y card. 
Quicksilver Dagger, and then we have a Plague Wind, followed by a Foil Will of the Wisp, Uncommon. Um, this card, I fucking hated Will of the Wisp back in the day. It was so hard to kill. It's just a 0 1 flying for one, and you can pay one black and regenerate it. Like, I had a friend who just ran Dark Rituals, Hypnotic Specters, fucking Will of the Wisps, and he was just like, ah, turn one. Uh, we would, like, turn one, Ritual, Hippie, turn two, Wisp Wisp, and then, oh jeez. Anyway, it was a pain. I'm, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about seeing this guy again. Also, I'm pretty sure Will of the Wisp used to be rare. And by pretty sure, I mean like, pretty fucking sure. Ah, same with this. Baluvian Horde used to be a pretty good rare. Now he's, he's not. <laughs> he's not a good rare. Uh, Court Hussar used to be uncommon. There's a lot of, you know, shifted around cards here. Goblin Wardrums from Fallen Empires. I actually like a Goblin Wardrums. I think it's a pretty good card. Caustic Tar. Actually, no joke, I went to the JSS with this card. If you know the JSS, that is the uh, Junior Super Series. I used to play a lot of, I used to play in a lot of competitive magic tournaments when I was younger. And I had a deck based around Caustic Tar. I didn't do, I didn't do too bad. Um, so, I actually placed. We have good old Pickles. And then our first of the Filter Lands. This is the Fetid Heath. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. And a Foil Rest in Peace. You know what? Honestly, we could get a worse Foil Rare. Foil Rest in Peace is actually pretty spicy. It's probably worth like 10 bucks or something. So, yeah, these are these are both worthy of the, the down pile. And this pretty good looking Angel Token. You know, so far this box isn't completely terrible. Loyal Sentry is pretty cool. Vampire Lacerator, also pretty cool. Those are both good one drops. And we're gonna keep going pretty quickly. You know, Arcane Denial, I think it's an okay card. And I also, I do kind of like the art in that one, so. You know, not too bad, this is a second Brainstorm. Manowar is a fantastic card, and we can kind of see. We got a green token back there. We got a Zada Hindering Grinder, Rare Shifted Down. Valor and Akros, another one, Fierce Empath, Rare Shifted it up. I believe this was a uh, common. And then we have a Rurik Thar, the Unbowed, followed by a Foil Exclude. Rurik Thar is a fucking beating, man. He's not a like, valuable card, but he's a beast. Unearth. Uh, mm, I'm trying to think if I like the uh, the other art better. It's just like a hand sticking up. Cloud Shift with good, good... Uh, oh my god. I was going to call her a Chroma. It's Avacyn that is the name. Streamer. I'm not a streamer. Prophetic Prism. Hey, look, our first Dark Ritual. We have an Angelic Page with actually fucking awesome looking art. Who did this? Was this Chris Rand? Yeah, dude, this guy's awesome. Yeah, he has fucking awesome art. Chupacabra, Kavu Predator, and a- Oh, nice! Coalition Relic! Definitely one of the cards that I was really hoping to get. I own a Clo Coalition Relic already, but it is a fantastic EDH card. Uh, totally Lost and a Skeleton. So, I mean, it's good too for like Cube and other things, but for me specifically, good in EDH. Another act of treason, Ormancer, Ruthless Ripper, which was a rare shifted down. Another, another. I don't know, man. Words are hard. I can't speak words. We got Lol, Cortisar, Noble Templar, Enthralling Victor. This dude is ripped as fuck. He's got like a 12 pack. We have Sai of the Shinobi, Zillaport Cutthroat, and a Niv Mizzet the Fear Mind, followed by a Geist of the Moors, and a really awesome soldier token that looks like guts from Berserk. So there are still plenty of cards to see as you flip through these incredibly iconic cards like Shoreline Ranger. Actually, Inox Survivalist isn't too bad. Chandra's Outrage, Nile Spellbomb, Bloodhunter Bat, Counterspell. That one actually is a very worthy card for this set. Griffin Protector, Nantuku Jabroni, Genju of the Spires, Ordeal of Heliod, and then we got a Triska Decaphobia, which is... I don't know, man. Full Pillage. Yeah. Fuck that. Full Pillage is sweet. Also this weird new morph token. Got all Thresher Lizard. The most iconic card from Amonkhet. What? You don't even remember that card saying Amonkhet? Even though we just, you know, had it? Yeah. I don't know, man. Some of the, a, lot, a lot of the choices, to be honest, for cards in this set are a little dubious at best. Aijin Shade. Very cool card. I do like the new art, but I like the old art better. Regrowth. Another actually good playable card. We have a Pyroclasm. These are good uncommons, man. These are pretty good uncommons. We have a um, Luminarch Ascension. This used to be worth a couple bucks. It might still be worth a couple bucks. I'm not sure. And we have a Foil Fathom Seer and another Morph Token. So we still have a decent number of packs to go, by the way. One of the most iconic cards from Amonkhet. I don't know if I wasn't being sarcastic enough. 
I mean, I guess they were trying not to do, like, really good, powerful cards that could be played in standard or something, but, man, fuck that. Just pick awesome cards. Haunted, Finn Graf, Borrowing Some Arrows, Noble Templar, Crows and Colossus. I remember that when this was in the um, Astral Slide deck, you'd morph him and then slide him out and he'd slide back in as a 9-9. Yeah, that was pretty good. We have the Spike Shot Goblin. Actually, another kind of cool card. Nyx Fleece Ram and a Notion Thief. Not worth a lot of money, but he's actually a pretty good card. And we have a White Main Lion. Hey, just imagine, man. This is a awesome goozler in uh, EDH where someone's like, oh, I'm going to draw eight cards. And you're like, nah. I'm going to draw eight cards. And you draw nothing. All right, so we got seven packs to go. Um, you know, we could still get some pretty sweet stuff. I have seen some people open up boxes and get two foil rares. So maybe we're going to get another foil rare. I don't know. That was like the first Relentless Rats we saw as well. Um, I don't feel like you get enough Relentless Rats. It's a couple bucks, Street Wraith, Zillport Cutthroat, Lorescale Quattle, and an Elvish Piper, which is actually a pretty good rare. And it's Skeleton Eyes. We have a lot of the Skeleton Tokens. But yeah, this is worthy of the uh, the front, front line. So what do you guys think of this set? If you play Magic the Gathering, because I am posting this on both of my channels, Red Zone Rogue and Red Zone MG, MTG. <laughs> I can speak, guys. I swear. I don't have any, like, impediments. This is a Dark Ritual. I'm just getting a little ahead of myself. We have the uh, Blood Hatch Nantuko Red Elemental Blast, which is a pretty good one. Another Mirrored Landscape. And then we have a Living Wish. It could be worse. Foil Plummet and an Angel Token. We got Hordling Outburst, Knight of the Skyward Eye. You know, I'm just going to flip through these again. Um, we can probably go through these pretty quickly. Though I did see we have, look like a foil land. Still hoping out for like a foil counterspell or something. We have this Perilous Mirror. Pillory of the Sleepless, this is a, an annoying fucking card. A uh, Fallen Angel, uncommon. Pretty good, but the old art is so much better. I know this is like the 7th edition in Onward Art or something like that, but man, the, the Chronicles are and the... Ooh, nice. But the other art is, is way, way better. Blood Moon, pretty sweet. I, whoa, what the fuck? We got the same card and one of them is foil. So we did get two foil rares. Uh, and one of them is a land, which is actually pretty sweet. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy about this one. It's probably worth like, you know, 20 bucks or something. And Blood Moon, also probably worth like 20 bucks. I would note, I keep fucking pulling Blood Moons in all these master sets. And I always fucking sell them. But this is actually a really good pack. I'm, I'm happy to get this. You know, all in all, we still have four packs to go, but I think this is not too bad, too bad of a box. I was kind of like down on it. I was like, you know what? I don't even care. I have to spend 130 bucks. This box is probably going to be shit. But uh, even if it is, it's not that big of a deal. I think I might have actually made my 130 bucks back. We'll see at the end, but uh, I think so. We have a Thalia. I like Thalia. I have, I have a Korean version of Thalia. And a full Arbor Elf. That's a pretty sweet pull, too. And this awesome looking spirit token. But yeah, that was a great card. It's like 10 bucks, so yeah, get in the good pile. Still holding out that we can have four Mythics in this box. The Mythics in this set are just baffling. Absolutely baffling as to the choices for them. You probably already know that. You probably heard this before. Uh, Undead Gladiator, one of my favorite cards. It's like actually one of the pet cards of mine. I have a Invigorate, a Browbeat, and a Decree of Justice, and a Foil Nyx Fleece Ram. That might be worth a couple bucks too. And a soldier token. So here are the last two packs. We're going to open them up. We're going to see what we got. And I'm going to do it in real time. So, you know, I don't have to edit out too much. <laughs> too much fast forwarding, man. Got to pay Got to pay the bills. And each fast forward costs 10 cents. That is not true in the, in the slightest. It just takes time. Anyway, let's flip through these. Sweet disenchant. We got another Stang. We got a Swiftfoot Boots. Fantastic card. Would not be too unhappy to get a foil one of those from the real oh nice twilight mire this is a good one another uh, ruthless ripper got another ruth full ruth but i'm always happy to get more of these rare filter lands yeah final pack of rooney it's got azusa on it maybe it has azusa in it maybe it has a mythic jace the mind sculptor um what else is spicy in this set child of the void imperial recruiter maybe maybe not probably you know honestly Probably not. It's probably going to be like a super dud rare, but we'll see. We have this Phyrexian Ghoul, another Ghost Ship, Dauntless Cathar, and another Swiftfoot Boots, once again. 
you know, sw swoop up boots are good. Even though I own like 12 of them because they come in like every commander set. A uh, Fierce Empath, and we have a Pendlehaven. That's actually a pretty good pull. Followed by a Foil Jackal Pup. Also not a too bad of a pull. So let's just go over, you know, let's go over our pulls real quick. Alright guys, so after going through all the cards, I can safely say that, um, I think I broke even at 130 bucks. Man, this box would have not been great at anything more than that. Um, here I have about $100 worth of cards. Um, these ones here, up to the rest in piece, are worth about, right now, about 3 to $4 each. The Street Wraith and the Master of the Wild Hunt are around 4 to 5 This Coalition Relic is 5-ish to, you know, 6 or 7 depending on where you can find it. Uh, Thalia is like 10 or 11 bucks. The Twilight Mire and the Fetid Heath are like, you know, 15-ish bucks to, you know, around there. Something around there. Uh, this is about 20 bucks, and this is about 20 bucks. I think this one is worth a little bit less than this one. So here, it's about $100, give or take, maybe maybe 10 bucks, something like that. That's not too bad, but it's not great either. And then I have some foils that I think are worth going over. The Will of the Wisp, the Arbor Elf are worth like $3 each. Uh, we have this Mirrored Landscape that's worth 7 bucks. I think this one's worth almost 10. Diabolic Edict's like 8 bucks to 10 bucks. This one I think is 15 or something like that. And this one is almost 30. I think it's like 25-ish. Maybe maybe down to 20. But in, in that kind of range. So if we add all these up, you know, I can maybe beat my $130 mark. Um, so like this would be, let's see, let's do some some quicker rooney math. So say this is 100 bucks, 130 140, 150, and we'll just say this is 160, just to do some rounding, rounding up and rounding down. So 160 bucks, maybe I made some money if I sold every fucking card that I got. Um, so all in all, it's not too bad. Uh, my rares could have been a lot worse. Like my two foil rares were actually not horrible. Like rest in pieces, like I said, 15 bucks. This foil, Fetid Heath, not too bad. I'm actually gonna use this one in a deck. I might do some like wombo combos with rest in peace and a hel helm of obedience, helm of obedience that I have, and some of the cards in here I'm actually going to play with as well. Vendillion Click is a fantastic card that I mean I already own a couple copies of them, but they're just they're just a great card in general. Uh, Blood Moon, same same is true. These two will see home somewhere. Um, this is an extra Thalia. I'll probably sell her. I love this Coalition Relic art. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this guy. I'll probably sell Street Wraith off, and these other ones. Like Pendlehaven, Vindicate, Elvish Piper, these are fantastic in a myriad of decks. Um, I'm probably going to just jam Pendlehaven into my Elf deck, my uh, Commander Elf deck. And then uh, Armageddon's just a pretty good card. I mean, it's good. It's not worth much, but it's good. And then also I had these um, foils that I thought were just good in general. Like Dusk Legion, Dusk Legion Zealot, Pillage, Nyx Fleece Ram, Ruth, Jackal Pup, and Crescent Tusker. These are all like cube-worthy cards. So, yeah, I mean, there's some value to be had here if you get it at the right price. And that's basically what I'm trying to get at. If you don't get it at the right price, then, you know, you're, you're probably going to be losing some money. And if that's, you know, a deal breaker for you, then, you know, it, it might be it might be good to, to, not, to not go for this set. Or maybe wait until it goes down a, a bit. You know, honestly, I'm not going to be buying this set uh, again until it goes down quite a bit. I'll probably buy another box at like 130, 140 bucks. But anything more than that, there's there's no way. Um, it's just it's too much too much volatility, um, and the chances of you losing money and getting hosed is, is way too high. But anyway, if you guys like the video, then maybe leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Everything helps, and I appreciate it oh so much. Let me know what you guys think of this set. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I mean, I think these the watermarks are fucking awesome, especially on cards like Blood Moon. But um, they definitely could have been definitely could have been better. It's not like the the haymaker that everyone thought it was going to be. Here's hoping to Dominari and hoping it doesn't suck. So have a good one guys and uh, I will see you next time.